make sure he doesn't crap on me. <laughs> oh, come on, Pete. Don't you think we deserve that? Don't be running away now. Oh. He'll, he'll sit up in a second. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you can stay there right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the noise he wants. <laughs> 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 So, you know, these guys, they, the first three hashed out, one, two, and three, fourth they didn't hash, they were all, so one of these guys is a, is a couple of days. Well, it's, you, look, at the, look at the feather development, these don't seem as, as far out as that guy. We'll look at them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> See, if you're doing this up in the tree, it does pay to be tied in. <laughs> you have both hands available. So when you grab them out of the tree, do you grab the legs? Yeah, and then then because the cavity's opening is so small, you need to kind of tuck their wings in so you know their wings are going. You don't want to just pull them through. Do they try to bite you when you put your. Yeah, wings? yeah, and they try to foot you, but but they're really they're they're not that strong yet. I oh, mean, yeah. their talons are really. Not yet. They look pretty sharp, but... Yeah, oh, they're sharp, but they just don't have a lot of grasping power, power to... Well, really they can't pull apart the mice yet. Yeah, they can... Have you noticed they can stand on it and hold it down? Huh? Yeah. Not quite ready to do all the kind of work. And, and like I think I've told you guys... Is that about the same size? Oh, what, well. what size? Right now, like, are they still body the size? They're, they're pretty darn close to being body weight of adults. Maybe a little yeah. bit more. So they don't start much bigger than that unless they're pretty young. Nice thing is going to be caught pretty down here. So keep your tail going. Okay, that's 78. And really, we don't, we don't need to take too much data. And the only thing I'd like to... This guy looks like he's, his, his uh, primaries are out about three inches. We're just just for the heck of it, I want to see if we can tell who's the oldest of uh, the three. Oh, that's oh. Oh, that's 
Them five and six years down the road, or two or three years. There, there's different traffic techniques where you can use um, traps that uh, you put mice inside and have mooses on the outside, and the birds come and it's weighted, and they come to grab the mouse and they can't get to it, but they get caught on a noose. You leave those unattended? Oh no, no. In fact, no, no. They're che they're checked really often, yeah. but you have to. Uh, um, these days, I mean, you can hook up transmitters to them when they transmitter. You know, if the trap moves, the transmitter tips over. Go check the trap. So, I mean, technology is even helping with that. That is all you can net them, and but uh, it's it's. Um, I mean, that the whole noose carpet thing that goes back hundreds of years in, in the Mid East, where that's how they used to catch birds for falconry. I mean, there, the other way to do it. So that you, People used to bury themselves in the sand with a, on a beach with a pigeon tethered there, and a peregrine or something come down and grab the pigeon, and they just reach out of the sand and grab the bird. <laughs> we thought we were over the top. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, did I say, this one's 80, right? I want to make sure. Yeah. And, you know, I'm using what's known as a lock-on band. It's got this tab. But these guys... You know, they're, 
they're too small to take these bands off, and they're. Um, you could probably use what's known as a butt end band. It just just comes around and pinches and be fine. But on adults, you use lock eyes because they're strong enough. To pull them off. Oh, <laughs> 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 just for now. Yeah,